just gonna keep making more magic potions. Get me! Woo! Nice. Oh, this dash is amazing. Alright. Storm! You're not gonna win this fight, punk. You're way too powerful for you. Woo! I'm way too OP for you, punk. Way too too OP for you. Magic potion. Have a Pepsi. Ah, you actually got me that time. That was good. That was good. Good job. Your health. You still have health. Whoa! Storm! Lower your magic defense! No more armor! Take that, punk! My companions aren't even hurt either! What's wrong, punk? What's wrong? Come on! You gotta do better than that! You're too slow! Whoop! Too slow! Ooh, I got a reading of Divine Fury. Sorry, the plot required us to kill it. Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't choose not to. It attacked us. Why? Why? In order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her, if necessary. You oh, have you done are. us a great service. Guiding us directly to her. Are you saying that... Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the mm. sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform. And from where their powers originate, our scientists so this is a trick. think that the remedy is there in their pseudo magic and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. I don't think so. I'm too fast for you. Bit of poison on my a little too fast for you. Way too fast. Mercy, your excellency. I surrender. You did were not at all. Uh, he surrenders. Ugh. This better not, I, this, this better not, um, I better not regret this. And if I do, I will you take you down then. You are nothing more than a henchman. It is your governor that is going to have some explaining to do. Off with you. And make sure our paths never cross again. Thank you, Excellency. You will never see me again. I better not. Bring the Tier Nanhar directors back to her village. Yeah, I mean. Tier Nanhar? <sighs> she's unconscious. We need to bring her back oh, to her village. Oh, she's alive. She needs to be tended to. We should leave right away. No, let's leave now. We're not gonna waste time. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals. The resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. 
Hmm. Oh my. Tiana, he does not mean to harm you. Please, let me. What do you want from me, Ranaikse? I want you to love me. We were manipulated love me, love by the me. Alliance. Say we that had you no love idea that me. they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. The man that shot at you is in no condition to come back and bother you. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here. Even I would have preferred yes. knowing the men dead. There is indeed a Wasn't your call to make. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try. We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them. Bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape mm. are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so, so you're sure? fortunate? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound. As they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite. But the crimes of the Renaixe enrage it. After all... Perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. That's possible. That's very possible. Ooh, we leveled up. Is she gonna say anything else? Hello, Meth. Renoixe, why have you come here again? Um, to take your stuff now that I'm back in your room again, and I I guess I can it's okay for me to take your stuff now that you're here <laughs> to to witness me do it? Can you tell me about Enon Mil Frichtemen? I already told you. He is the god of a thousand faces. His spirits, which run in the rivers, carry our steps. They flow under the bark of the trees and whisper in our ears through the breeze. They are our father, our protector, our healer, and our grave digger. They are the source and the cycle. But I doubt that some Renaixe could understand that. I mean, we can try. What is the role of a Tiana Hachkadactus? In every generation, all the Donegada of the island choose a Tierna Hachkadactus. She has to be the best of them all. She advises them and sometimes guides them. She must help them to remember that everything they receive must be given back, that we are part of a cycle. She must know all the secrets of the island. Pass them on to those who are deserving and protect them from the monies in Ike. And no, I won't entrust you with these secrets. You are on all Menawi, but you are not a Donegad. Fair enough. All right, thanks. I have to go. Goodbye. I'm not sure that I want the wind to bring you back to me. Don't worry. I won't necessarily come back after I take all your stuff. Oh, that health potion, which I use during the combat. You know, that's just, 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 you know, for services rendered, things like that. I know, you don't mind. The fact that you're not saying anything means that you don't mind at all. All right. Beautiful. Thank you for your patronage. Okay. So I don't think I can still get to this area yet. At least not that I'm aware of. I may come back later. We may come back here later. Um, okay. Yeah, we still have to wait for things to progress here. Quests. The face of the demon. Okay, find the sanctuary indicated by Derdre. Okay, by Derdre. 
Um, I don't know. I want to go to the fast, the quick, the quick travel, which is right over here. Can I talk to you again? Are we, are we cool? Are we cool yet? Ongos, what do you want, Renaix? Hey, hey, I helped your, I helped I your leave. leader person. You should be a little bit nicer to me. What do you want? Uh, find the, uh, I mean, I'll go here and see if that's takes us where we want to go. Oh, I got a I got a ring too. I got some treasure from that guy. Just before I forget, ring of divine fury. Uh, that's better than what I have. That is better than what I have. Um. Yeah, that's quite a bit better than what I have. In every way. Um. We'll give you the Crusader's Ring. And I think Ciara's good. Alright. Was there anything else that, um... Is there anything else? I wasn't sure. Discover's hat. Gives me intuition. I'm fine with all that. Let's take a look at the codexes. Because I haven't done that in a while. Um... Natives of Tirfradi. Ezeld. Although physically very different, Ezeld is Siora's twin sister. She's a fierce warrior who dreams of battles and revenge, but who is nevertheless aware that after the defeat of Dide Kaiden Nagdedis, it will take her time for her to people to recover. Although she has not yet been officially chosen to take over from her mother, Chief Blanid, she will likely be named by the Gais Rad. Mev. Mev is both the Tierna Hard Hadaktis, the highest spiritual authority of Tir Fradi and the head of the Anamen Shadi clan, the shadow spirits of the village of Vigshadir. Her knowledge of the mysteries of the island, remedies and religious practices, as well as the natural friendship with the most ferocious beasts, earned her immense respect from the natives, although it would probably be more accurate to say that they fear her. She is less involved in political affairs and lives mostly isolated to meditate and maintain the strong links that bind her to the island of Tir Fradi. Donkis. I like Donkis. He is the leader of the Donegagad of the Beraig Nodas clan, the sap bears of the village of Vigididau. A great healer of the earth and protector of the nature of his island, his wisdom is renowned and always seeks to preserve balance and harmony in all things. I can definitely get behind that. Vedra, the Red Woods. Vedra is a forested area north of Nusarin. The species of trees with flaming foliage in this forest are probably at the origin of its are probably at the origin of its native name, the Red Woods. Village of Ver Vedrais. This village is the Gais Rad, the Red Spear Clan. Its native name means the Spear Wood, because the clan that built it has always been famous in combat and the whole island knows the courage and the honor of its warriors. Its elders tell many stories of battles, including the one that set them against the people of the sea who had settled nearby. A legend even has it that before this mythical battle, the trees of the surrounding forest offer their branches to defend the island. The spears of fallen warriors are used to decorate the village. Village of Vigidi, Vigidau. This village is that of Bereg Nodas, the clan of sap carriers. Its native name means the healed wound. Indeed, this clan includes many Donaigada, Donaigada, whose particular role is to heal the wounds of the island. Formerly, this clan was nomadic and went where nature needed it, but after the legendary battles between the natives and the people of the sea, the Beraig Noda spent so much time healing this battle, the ravaged place that they finally settled there. This battle ravaged place that they finally settled there. Dirikaiden Nadaiges. These, these strange ruins that look more like the continent's buildings than natives' homes were devastated by legendary battle. The natives say that, this, that a city built by a people of the sea stood here, and that it was the first to be swept away by the giant creatures that the natives call guardians. It is this mystic, mythical and symbol and symbolically very strong sight that the Queen Blandi chose to face the Bridge Alliance. Falristal. When the natives went to seal a pact or an agreement, they bring in a guardian of promise, promises who inscribe symbols in the stone in the sacred language of the Doinagda, corresponding to their disagreement. It is the sacred clearing that the natives set up to these stones. Falristal means besides the promises set in stone. 
Bridge Alliance Camp. This outpost was established by the Bridge Alliance to accommodate their troops before the great battle against Queen Blandide. Since their victory, these troops have mostly returned to Hikmet, and the camp is mainly used to treat the wounded while maintaining their hold on the surrounding territories. Fransangai said, The Ancient Woods. Fransangai Zayed is a particularly wild forest area inhabited only by the most isolationist natives or by those who want to hide. They named it the Forest of the Ancients because of the venerable age of the trees found there. Village of Vig Shadir. This village is that of the Anemen Shadi, the clan of the Shadow Spirits, a clan focused on rituals whose village is considered sacred by all the natives, in particular because its inhabitants are responsible for the abundant hunts of the entire island. Its name means Long Shadows, perhaps because of the clan that inhabits it or the many large trees that surround it. This is the original village of the Tierna Hark Kadaktis, the Mistress of Wisdom. Course of the Great Hunt. It is on this path that the Great Hunt ritual takes place. The natives attach bells to keep the animals away because it is one, it is one of them who plays the role of the White Andrig, which the rest of the village must chase for hunting to be abundant in the coming year. Craig Dwen. The name of this sanctuary means Heart of Trees in native language. It is an important place of power and rituals where only the wisest of Nyingada can enter safely because it is said the place is guarded. Dogred, the Heart's Gates. Dorgred is a small area that lies around a mountain lake and is located near the main sanctuary of Tirfredi, which gave its name the Doors of the Heart. Village de Dorhagdangdingdu. This village is that of the council where the kings and all of the clans of the island meet and elect their high king. Maybe that's the reason, or because it's so close to the volcano, that its name means the Door of Renewal. Its inhabitants, the Voglei Kraidis, the Guardians of the Heart, are in charge of organizing these meetings. But most of all, they are the protectors of the most sacred sanctuary of the island, whose entry is not far. Kugadarg. This mysterious cave is used for the test of water, supposed to reveal the intentions and the hearts of, the, of the anyone who accomplishes it. All those who are brought to visit the Credence Sanctuary to meet N on Milfrikten must visit it and report the response to the leader of the Vogleg Credes. Kurganal. This stone circle bears the native name of Song Circle. It is one of the places of power where natives can establish the link with Tirfredi on and N on Milfrikchimen. Quenar, the tall trees. Quenar is a forested and rather isolated valley whose tall trees are particularly popular with carpenters from the mainland and are the source of its native name. Abandoned mine. This mine was abandoned and sealed by the natives in the hope that nobody will dig there. Indeed, it, is, it had been exploited so much that it almost caused the mountain to collapse. It seems, however, that some people decided to put it back into operation. Not anymore. Um, purple Leolin. This Leolin subspecies has the same features as its cousins, but is able to project a jet of cor corrosive saliva across short distances. Landras. This reptilian creature has a very thick skin that effectively protects it from physical damage. It is said to be capable of powerful charges against those who attack it. Sulfurous Leolin. More powerful than the purple Lowellans, these creatures are particularly resistant with an extremely dangerous bite. Alright, and then the rest are just notes. Cool. Okay, everybody, it's been a couple months since I last played. Um, again, because of fatherhood, the baby and everything, I can only really play uh, in like chunks when I happen to have a long stretch of time uh, free. Currently, my son is actually with my in-laws in New York, believe it or not. So I actually have a few hours, not a lot, but a few hours that I am able to find to play. And hopefully I can get a good amount out um, before my next hiatus for possibly another couple months again. <laughs> um, that's just, you know, what unfortunately you have to do um, when uh, you've got, you know, priorities, <laughs> new priorities. Uh, but right now we are going to ask about the research in Eden. I don't remember if there's a specific type of companion that would be suitable for this quest, but I have Afro with me and I have Siora, although now that I think about it, um, it might have been better for me to have um, one of my other companions with me, but we're just going to go. Oh, there you are, Your Excellency. The Enlightened has heard my prayers. Have they? What's going on? 
Where are the others? After deciphering the content of the tablets, they went north to continue their research in some swamps. Uh, but they must have encountered problems. Brother Fidelis came back here, and he was in a dreadful state. He most likely came to seek help, but he fainted. It's impossible for us to know what happened to them. I'm not a doctor, but I may be able to examine him. Oh, please do. Any help would be appreciated. We've done our best, but our magic has proved inefficient. And the healer we sent for will certainly arrive too late from San Mateus. Do I actually have something that increases my... Um, increases my medicine, my science? I don't know if I actually do, believe it or not. No. That's craftsmanship. No. Discovers. I could have sworn I had something that increased. If I don't, then I might have put it away or sold it, but... Oh, no, we're just going to examine him. This man is burning up with fever, and he bears several bite marks and traces of blows. The flesh is black and blue around the bites. He was bitten by a venomous creature. Oh, good. What he needs is an antidote. Thank you. Have you tried giving him any antipoison? Of course, but to no avail. And what if it were a hex cast by the heretics? No matter what happens, you always suspect them. Why, of course. The savages are always to blame. The man was in the swamp. There are some rare animals there, and their venom is terrible. A healer from the area will know the antidote. We could ask Lair. He will direct us to someone who understands remedies. That actually was awesome, awesome teamwork between Afra and Siora. Afra was able to diagnose the problem. Siora was able to help suggest a solution to said problem. Uh, those two, uh, so far, at face value, you wouldn't think they would uh, operate well together, but they actually, their knowledge together actually uh, go hand in hand. Like peanut butter and jelly. I always keep thinking about peanut butter and jelly. Now, how did they, how did they like realize that mixing crushed peanuts and crushed fruit would go together so well between two pieces of bread? I, like, like, I, if, if peanut butter and jelly sounds like such a fundamental, at least American, you know, treat, an American sandwich. But when you really think about it, it's like, I don't know, like, it just seems like a really interesting combination. Ooh, should I loot your stuff? Uh, I'm gonna loot your stuff. <laughs> Hello, sir. On Manawi, you've come back to see old Lair. Yeah. Boy heard that you managed to retrieve the tablets. I did. Did Vindwal tell you? Yes, and we feel more at peace, knowing that our brothers are alive, and that they will be able to join another clan. And you proved me right. Peace with the Renaixe is possible. I try. Uh, do you know a healer for Fidelis? I need your advice. You may already know that one of the researchers came back wounded from the expedition. I heard about it. He has all the symptoms of a poisoning. But the anti-poisons we gave him had no effect. He must have been bitten by a creature of the swamp. And we're looking for a healer who would know of a suitable antidote. So, you came to see me. Interesting. Our neighbors did not think for one moment that we could be helpful. Alas, our Donegad is one of the exoils. But Vindwal knows plants well. She will know. Thank you. I will go see her. I hope she agrees to help us. I hope so too. That would just make this I have to go. so much more convenient. Like so many others. So much convenient. So much more convenient. Okay. Let's go, ladies. Oh, but we need to loot. Okay, there we go. I'm done with you, sir. Sirler. Sirler. Ask the natives for help. Okay. All this going back and forth. Back and forth. Fourth man. Back this way, I believe. Yes, back this way. Do I want to go up? Unless I want to go up this hill. All right. 
Oh, there we are. Here you are again. What do you want? Uh, antidote. I have come to ask for your help. Lair told me you know about remedies. I do know a few of them. I have learned about plants. I used to want to become a Donegad. One of the researchers came back wounded from the expedition. Apparently he was bitten by a creature of the swamp. And now he has the Lawolan fever. We have a good knowledge about this affliction. He will die if he does not receive proper treatment. Do you yes. know which antidote should be given to him? Yes. These priests are idiots. They could have asked for our help, but they treat us like children. Mm. You, you are different. And you have allowed my son to join a new clan. So, I will give you the potion to cure the priest. Wait a moment. Good, that's good. We got some Make creds. him drink this remedy and he'll get better. Thank you, Vindwar. Okay. Let us... All the way back. All the way back. And hopefully this uh, antidote will just work because... Again, that would be very convenient. Where am I? You are in Eden. You're safe. I... Was I unconscious for a long time? The, the other members of the expedition, they are in danger. The swamp is so hostile. We weren't prepared for it. S some of our people have d disappeared. What caused these wounds? A nightmarish creature. The swamp is full of them. A colleague and I had left to fetch some help when we were attacked. I managed to run away, but I don't know what happened to him. As for those who were at the camp, you must go help them. Show me the location of your colleagues on the map. I will join them. There. Please, hurry. Thank you. You should rest now. All right. Find the theologian's camp. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, it's already nighttime. Um, um, all the ooh, oh, okay. We gotta trap. We gotta do some traveling. So, right. Okay. Um. Yeah. I uh, can we cut this way? Yes. That's that was the correct choice. And then we wanna go down this way. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Don't we also have another mission? Go to the old mine indicated by Lady Morange, find the sanctuary. Go to the old mine, it by. All right, well, I'm going, I wanna finish up wrapping up these side quests before we start doing any of the main questy things. berries along the way. Travel. Uh, find a theologian's camp. Really? That's the... Find the theologian's camp. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They want me to go there. Find, this, find the theologian's camp. So they, they actually want me to go... Is that right? They actually want me to go up there? Alright, I mean, I'll travel there. It seemed like I could just... It seemed like that takes me out of the map, though. Which means I would... Alright, I'm not sure what the deal is. But... Alright, let's see if we can remember how to play this game again. Okay. Um... Right. Spells. Okay. Um. I think Shadow Burst I need. There we go. That's what I want to do. 